Hello, guys. Pay attention, Professor David here today. Got another video for you today. Guys, this video, you're gonna get a lot of benefit from, like all the other videos. Pay attention, okay? The name of this video is counter to a push in the center of your chest. Counter, listen to the word, counter to. That means set up. All the time when somebody putting their hands on you, don't mean they're just intimidating you or trying to put fear into you, they might be setting you up. Because you want to do what you practice, and what you practice is in your head. But a lot of time what you practice is not the best application for the street. It's great for the training hall, for the dojo, but not for the street. And it will get you in a position to get seriously hurt or possibly killed. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Kenny. Okay. When the bad guy puts his hand in the center of your chest, what do you think he's doing? You may think to yourself, oh, he's doing this. Yo, you got a problem? You got a problem? He's doing that, but you don't like it? Just to intimidate you. He might be setting you up. He might be setting you up. Because if I'm putting, I'm the bad guy now, and I'm doing this to Kenny, and he reacts the way a normal person reacts, which will be just pushing the hand away, that's what they're doing, right? Pushing the hand away. Now, I understand that out of emotion. He gets emotional. Nobody wants a stranger to be putting their hands on him. So you're going to do something. And most of the time, you're just going to knock it down. But when you go to knock it down, I'm going to counter it. When you push, I counter. When you push, I counter. You see, I'm setting you up. I want you to move so I can move. Bam! I want you to move so I can move and apply my movement. I want you to do this. Because when you do this, now you're mine. See? Now I can hit you from here. I can hit you from here. I could attack the leg. I could now... For me, I can now unbalance you, put you into a chokehold, okay? I can do a lot of things. But what you need to understand, and what this video is about, is that this could be a setup. But you know why? Kenny, put your finger on my chest. You know why? Kenny's a bad guy now. Now you know why you guys don't care about this? Because you can't wait to do the stuff you practice in your dojo. You think you're gonna be able to come underneath, swing around, pass the hand into the other, put this lock on, put that lock on, put this lock on, put this lock on, come back up and put this lock on. See, you think you're gonna be able to do that. You think you're gonna be able to do stuff like, watch, not only this, but stuff like this. When you come, lock him in, boom, take him down, walk him to the ground. See, you think you're gonna be able to do that. Because you practice that all the time. Look at the movement. Look at this movement. What's he doing all this time? Nothing? When you're going to sit here and you're just going to do this? Who's going to let you do that? Nobody's going to let you do that. But you don't care. Because you practice it. I just showed Kenny a video from a, a top instructor a top instructor in New York that their people are doing this. Okay? Who's gonna, who's gonna allow you to do this? And then come over and do this. And then come over and do this. Look at the movement. Guys, this is one of the top instructors out there now, showing this. Kenny's going to...
to blast me in my face. This. And they're doing it over and over and over. And you know what? It really looks good. They got the whole class doing it. It really looks good. If you don't know what you're looking at. You see? The untrained person would look at that and say, wow, woo, wow, wow, that's cool. Soon as I seen it, I said, who the hell, this is your first move? Where are you going to get that from? Where are you going to get that from? Who's going to let you do this? Who's going to let you do this? Who's going to let you do this? Nobody. Nobody. You see, you don't understand the simplicity of reality-based self-defense. See, because you want to be fancy. God put his hand in my chest outside in the street because I know what I could do to him, he could do to me. See, that's the way my, that's the way I think. That's the way I train people to think. Whatever you think you could do to him, he could do to you. So I got to end this real fast, real quick, to make sure that he don't do none of his fancy martial arts stuff. Let me slow that down for you. I want you to try to do some of your fancy martial arts stuff. Because if I did this, you could hit me, or you can just do martial arts counter. Boom. See, if I did this, he just trapped and counter. Yep. If I did this, he just trapped and counter. Right? But if I do this, okay. where's your trap and counter? Let me show you that from this side. See? There's no trap and counter. I want to show it to you in the secrets again. Trap and counter. Boom. Trap and counter. Good. Trap and counter. There is no trap. There is no counter. See? Because all I did was look him in the face, agree with him. Yeah, man, whatever the case might be, my hands are talking. Yo, God, I don't know. Yo, yo dude, can you please take your hand on my chest? Nah, I'm not taking my hand on my chest. See, he got clothes on. I'm going to grab the clothes and blow out his kneecap. I'm going to grab the clothes, he puts his fist up, boom, and then I'm going to blow out his kneecap. And then when I blow his kneecap out, then I'm going to come along and blow this kneecap out. Then he's on the ground. You see? I know what you're saying. No, Dave, I studied for 30 years. I got all kind of right. I'm the grand master. I can't just do that. That's too simple. I want to do this. I want to do this. This is what I really want to do because this is what works and this is what is, is, is very exciting and I want to do this. That's what I want to do. Come on, Dave. I don't want to do this. That's too easy, Dave. That's too easy. Come on, man. Give me something exciting. I'll tell you what. Save yourself, save your family, go home, tell your wife what happened, then you could do something exciting, okay? Out in the streets, it ain't no time for no games and no excitement. It's time to be effective. Closest point, closest target, shut it down as quickly as you possibly can, okay? That's it, period. Just do it. Kenny, tell him what to do. Guys, just do it. Just do it. You know what I mean by that, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Smash that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Share the video, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. To another level.